Good morning. A little short update. Uh, I got the Davis uh, loose pulley bored out or drilled out, and uh, it doesn't work as good as I'd like, but it works. And uh, apparently, this uh, the wood pulley I have up there kind of wants to hang on to the belt a little bit and it doesn't shift off quite as well as I would like it to. Things are a little bit loose. I might try tightening up my shifting stick a little bit. But I tightened the belt, I shortened them up a little bit and uh, things do run better. And the lathe will run. Uh, without it being in, in uh, back gear now. I, I don't know if it's just running uh, this lays, I think early 1900s. It came out of the uh, JL Hicks manufacturing in San Francisco, California. They made uh, marine engines, late 1800s to early 1900s. Uh, I feel uh, lucky that I, I uh, got this piece of history here and uh, the gentleman I, I got it from actually said he, he was only selling it to me because I was going to uh, get it running again and uh, so I just wanted to show a few things to this uh, pulley cast iron and uh, I, I drilled it out so slow that I was really whittling it, buffing it out, but I thought I would uh, run everything this morning. I've been running uh, my little Starlay. You can see I've uh, produced a little swarf down there. Uh, that's from uh, turning the uh, shifter, I don't know if you can see it, it wasn't much, just uh, uh, I usually drill everything out on the drill press and uh, now I'm uh, actually to turn stuff down and for me this is the uh, First time since, uh, for me, it's 1966 when I was in uh, high school. Got a full time job. I worked uh, nights and uh, went to school in the daytime. And I was uh, a machine operator. I've never been a machinist. So any of you uh, real machinists out there, go a little light on me. I'm not showing how things are supposed to be done. I'm showing how I'm just kind of figuring out and making it work. As uh, any of you out there who, who are real machinists, you could probably tell. But, uh, we're running. Uh, about the only thing I got left to to uh, get hooked up on my little machine shop trailer here is this uh, little fast and loose pulley uh, bench grinder uh, to sharpen the drill bits and the, the cutting bits for the blade and, and stuff. This is a I thought I got a good deal. I got a, a 60 grit and a, a 120 grit. And apparently, uh, I've been researching it a little bit, and 60 grit is probably about as, as uh, uh, fine as you want to go. So I may uh, have to go back to the drawing board 
and uh, find a uh, coarser stone. I, I bought them, got a good deal, but uh, I guess it's only a good deal if you can use it. I may put them on there anyway just to, uh, to see how they uh, cut. Might as well get everything running here. I like the, the sound of the belt slap. Sounds like I live next to a raceway. Now that I'm retired, I find that a, a sad part of America. Everybody's in a hurry. Of course, when, when I was working, I was on a rat race too, and you're always trying to get in front and get there, save 10 seconds. <laughs> now that I'm retired, I slowed down a little bit, and, uh, can't figure out why everybody's in such a hurry anymore. We never have enough time. But, i got time now. And uh, this is what I'm doing for enjoyment. So thanks for viewing. And if you have any comments, uh, depend on leaving down there. Bye.